G'day John for the hot end. Today we're going to talk about the Trinus 3D printer. G'day, right, the Trinus, which is made by a company called Kadama. This little machine that you can see here printing started off as a kickstart program and it's now been released for sale. It will cost you $374 US or $499 Australian dollars. Comes almost assembled. Now, I did a uh, video of the assembly of this little machine. It took me a total of 45 minutes to get this to out of the box to printing. All the axes are pre-assembled. Uh, the hot end and nozzle extruder is all pre-assembled. Most of the wiring is all pre-assembled. It's just a matter of bolting it together and it just works. It's on a really heavy steel plate base. And I would just about reckon you could run over this with a Sherman tank and it would still print. It is really, really solid. It is probably the most solid printer that I've ever seen. The print bed is 100 by 100, which is about 4 inches by 4 inches, which is, yeah, by any imagination, fairly small. But if you're only printing little stuff, then, hey, that's fine. It comes with a standard print bed, which is this, which has these square score marks in it. It came, or mine came with three of those. Mine also came with the $60 heated bed pack, which includes a sheet of build tack which goes onto the heated bed. And that's just a straight plug-in. Took five minutes to fit. Just plugs into the side of the board. Um, and uh, it it's, works fine. I like the heated bed. It helps me a lot because, as you know, I like printing in ABS. Mine also came with the laser attachment. Now, the laser is $130 Australian dollars. Uh, and it does uh, laser engraving, not laser cutting. And Anthony, I believe, has done or is doing a video on the laser. It comes with a really nice nozzle set. These are stainless steel by the looks of them. Um, you get a spanner for changing, two spanners in fact, with a socket and three spare nozzles. Now the size was uh, what do we got in there? We've got a 0.2, a 0.4 and a 0.6 nozzle in there. It also comes with the laser protection, eye protection glasses, which of course if you get the laser attachment. My eyes, the goggles do not... Oh, it also uh, has an option of the um, touch screen, which uh, is an LCD touch screen. It's uh, really nice to use. That's 79 Australian dollars as an add-on. Uh, I would get it, it's really nice to use. There is also an enclosure as an add-on. That's 149 Australian dollars. That's a full aluminium enclosure. So if you've got kids around, it's a good idea to make sure they can't touch it. So use the enclosures, works really well. Okay, how does it print? Well, um, it's simple to use, even though it only uh, likes to use its own software, which is Pango, which you can download from the site where you buy the thing. I have seen on some of the forums that people have had trouble using other software with this. Uh, I can tell you that I am a Simplify 3D user, and I uh, sliced my files in Simplify 3D as STLs, and they printed straight off the SD card, no problem. So I would say that Cura would be the same. I believe that the manufacturer is actually going away from the Pango and is going to be using Simplify 3D as well. It comes with two rolls of filament. The one it's using there at the moment is an aluminium filament. And the other one is just a straight PLA, which is the blue, which is, was this one. So I built the thing, set it up, started printing. Adjustments are all done via old school screws and uh, manual limit switches, or you can uh, adjust the uh, Z offset in the software. 
So away I went and on the SD card that comes with it, which is a uh, 512 megabyte, I didn't know they made them that small, but, uh, is this model, which is the VARS. That was on the disc, which away I went and I printed it in the PLA. It printed really, really nicely, except for one small detail. I used the clear print bed, and as you can see, it stuck a little too well. Uh, I must have had the Z height down a little low, uh, and when I took the print off, as you can see, uh, it left its bottom behind, which would be very painful, no doubt. So, that was my first print. Um, and this is before I put the heated bed on, I must add. I took that off and put on one of the spares and started printing again and since then have put the heated bed on. And these are the prints that I've done since, which is the vase that's on the card, a couple of benches in the two different filaments, 40 millimetre cube and a little um, uh, Inca God guy. That one's actually printed at 50 micron and uh, Anthony will put up a close-up of that uh, at the end of the video so you can see how well that printed. I didn't have it dialed in totally uh, when I printed that. It was under extruding just a fraction, uh, which you will see by the infill on the top. But otherwise, um, a perfect print. I cannot fault the print of this machine in any way whatsoever. The 40 millimeter cube is right on 40 millimeters. Uh, I think, well, close enough to it. I think from memory it was 40.01 by, by 39.99 or something like that, which um, is as close as I've ever printed a 40 cube. The vase looks fantastic. Uh, there is not one fault line, gap, uh, artifact, nothing on this print. It is perfect. I really, really like how this prints. This one was printed at, I think, 50 as well, although it was on the card, so I don't exactly know on the, on the uh, slice of that one. The benches were printed at uh, 100 and 200, and they've come out really nice as well. I'm not a big fan of using benches, as you know, but the bridging's fine, the detail's fine. You can read the... Um, name on the back of the boat, everything comes out really nice. So I'd have to say out of the box, this printer is perfect. It prints beautifully. It has some drawbacks in that if you put it on a hard bench, it's a little noisy. That's why you'll see I've put this foam, which actually came in the box that it uh, went, that was sent to me in. Uh, it's sitting on that, which means now you can hardly hear it. It's very quiet, very nice. Its only other drawback, as far as I'm concerned, is it's a little small. I, uh, I like to print big, as you've seen before. I like uh, printers that have 300 by 300 and bigger uh, build volumes, and I can print really big stuff. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. But if you're after a small printer, this one is the go. I'd even go so far as to say it was portable. If you wanted to throw this in the back of the car or in the caravan or whatever and take it away on holidays with you, uh, if your wife would let you, whereas uh, mine won't, um, you could take it away and do printing while you're on holidays. It would work really nicely. So that's about it for the Trinus. There is a code for the Trinus via the Hot End YouTube channel which you're watching. The code is just the Hot End. Uh, and you get, I believe, $25 off the price when you buy a Trinus using that code. So if you're looking for a printer that just prints really, really nicely, this is the one for you. Okay, see you next time. If you're watching this video on the Hot End channel, please subscribe to the channel. It helps us out. We did some statistics uh, a little while back and apparently 90% of the people that view our videos non-subscribers so if you want to uh, get involved with the hot end help us out if you want to um, be notified of whenever we put something on YouTube hit that subscribe button hit the little bell as well which sends you the notification and that helps us out immensely 
And don't forget, you can also donate and go through Patreon and all those other places and give us heaps of money because we really need it because we're destitute and we live on bread and dripping and my kids have to walk 15 miles to school in the snow. No, really, it's, uh, it's really good for us. It helps to fund all of our videos. Okay, see you next time.